Thanksgiving Day tightened security at airports, crossings, and parade routes kept the holiday safe, and some of the thousands of men and women who serve in our armed forces got a break aboard the battleship New Jersey. Brianna Venosi reports. Hundreds of South Jersey neighbors spent their day gathered along the pier of the battleship New Jersey, honoring the brave. It's the 11th annual Thanksgiving tribute for troops at the historic battleship, the highest ranking Navy vessel in U.S. history. It's our way of saying thank you and, and uh, welcoming our military personnel. A lot of these guys are away from their families. It's, it's, it's kind of, it, it can be a lonely day for military. Volunteers served a turkey dinner with all the trimmings to veterans and active military from Joint Base McGuire Dix Lakehurst, the Dover Air Force Base, and several others. We're thankful that uh, all these people took time away from their day and their family to come make sure that we had a Thanksgiving meal. It really is a, it's an amazing thing to see. Technical Sergeant Robert Hayes and his nine-year-old daughter Ava were overwhelmed by the support. I was actually like, oh my gosh, what is happening to me right now? Because everyone was like, just, it was crazy out there. For Henny Ramirez and daughter Adi, home is on the West Coast in L.A. She wasn't here last year, so it's good to be able to bring her with me. It's often said on Thanksgiving that we cook enough to feed an army. And it turns out when you're tasked with just that, it takes the work of several organizations to make it happen. We had well over 50 battleship volunteers. I believe there was another 20 volunteers from our caterer. At 90 years young, we're World War II Navy veteran Russell Collins spent his entire career aboard this battleship. Would I do it again? Yes. And you ask any veteran the same thing, would you do it again? And they would say yes. I just arrived home yesterday from Afghanistan, and after spending six days in the Middle East, we in America have much to be thankful for. South Jersey Congressman Donald Norcross sits on the Armed Services Committee in the U.S. House. Most of it was classified briefings that were involved in, uh, so it can just reassure me that the information that we have is very real and continues to be a threat. And if it wasn't for the men and women uh, over in the Middle East defending us, uh, we would have much more trouble here in America. What's just going on now, as scary as and unstable as the world is getting again, knowing a lot of these men and women are going to probably go places far away and deal with some very serious issues and possible loss of life, but they're willing to do it for us. What are you most thankful for this Thanksgiving? Um, I'm most thankful for my family, that at least my dad got to come here with me. They'll spend the day giving thanks, enjoying good food and the company of this family, albeit it miles and miles from home. In Camden, I'm Brianna Venosi, NJ TV News. Now about that turkey. Historians say the immigrant pilgrims and Wampanoags in 1621 probably ate venison. It wasn't until the author of Mary Had a Little Lamb campaigned for turkey and Abraham Lincoln obliged in 1863 that it became traditional. The cranberry sauce, General Ulysses S. Grant ordered it served the Civil War soldiers in 1864. The wishbone dates back thousands of years to the Etruscans, who believed they were oracles predicting the future. If they had been, they might have seen in homes and houses of worship, restaurants and legion halls and firehouses all over New Jersey, people sharing what they have this Thanksgiving with neighbors who have little. Here's Lauren Wonko. For Marilyn and Richard Sloshbach, preparing a Thanksgiving meal has become a family tradition, a family tradition that includes feeding strangers. There's no one excluded in our world, and they become like family, like blood family. At Langosta Lounge in Asbury Park, this brother and sister, along with hundreds of other volunteers, have been preparing a free Thanksgiving meal to anyone in need for nearly 10 years. It all started with Pat Sherman, founder of Feeding Friends, a local nonprofit dedicated to caring for those in the community. For years, she cooked and served a holiday meal wherever she could find free space. Then she met restaurant owner Marilyn. They teamed up and haven't looked back since. Why is it so important for you to do that? Because that's what the holidays and actually that's what life is all about, giving back to other people. So 
how sad would it be if I just sat back and only took care of me? Corporations and individuals donate money, turkeys, hams, and desserts. We do all the sides because we found in the beginning it was really complicated to know what kind of food we were going to get, and we wanted some stability for the guests. I appreciate it. I, I look forward every year. It's two species for words. I can't even express it. I can't even put it in words. We didn't have any place else to go for Thanksgiving, so everybody is so nice here. Oh, I come here every year. They're doing a very good job. Over the years, this Thanksgiving feast has brought comfort to Marilyn, too. Her parents passed away 30 years ago around the holidays. So the holidays for me, for most of my life, were really sad and depressing and um, hard to process. And when we started doing this, you can't get sad. You feel so good when you help so many people. After today's meal, all of the guests are invited into this makeshift pantry. There's canned food and piles and piles of clothing. All of these items have been donated and guests can leave with a bag full. Maybe the economy is growing and things are getting better, but there's still a lot of people that really need. Guests are invited back for a free Christmas and Easter dinner too. Pat says locals look forward to their annual tradition. They'll see my truck and they're like, Pat, when's dinner? What are you feeding us? What are we having? And like, they're so happy. And that's why we do it. Diners also leave with a to-go box filled with a turkey sandwich. Even though holidays are a time when all these people can go to various places and get a meal, what happens tomorrow and Saturday and Sunday? You know, so we try to give them something more to take home. Marilyn hopes to cherish these moments with her own children children as they grow. Your holiday should be a memory, however you spend it. And I was able to change my very sad negative memory into a very positive memory. And I want to do that for people. In Asbury Park, I'm Lauren Wonko, NJTV News.